My name's Colin, Colin Taylor. I'm 51 years old. At 49, I was diagnosed with a stage three cancer in my prostate. I was explained the four different stages and it was a stage three. So I realized that something needed doing quickly and it needed doing now really. First thing I did was ring my wife and told her that I had cancer in my prostate. And Chris's reaction was, was very good in actual fact. And okay, you know, we'll deal with it. You know, we'll, you know, and she said exactly the same feelings that I had. You know, we put trust in, in the people that we're dealing with. And that's what we did. Um, I eventually got to see the consultant. A lot of information that, that I sort of had to absorb at the time. He didn't really recommend anything, but gave me the facts to everything. And, and that was superb. Um, but what he did do was he explained it clearly, he explained it professionally and sent me away to make decisions myself. What I had to think about was the fact that if I had an operation, the side effects that I could get. One was, one was the fact that I would end up incontinent and as a 49 year old guy, you don't really want to be incontinent. Um, but he explained that, he explained the percentages and the, the chances of that incontinence the stages of it, the fact that it would be worse at the start but then better as, as time went on. And sure enough, that, that was my experience. And I had some massive benefits in the fact that my wife was superbly supportive of me. Colin were really positive after his operation. He, he were positive all the way through. Um, but after his operation, he listened to the advice um, and he did literally everything by the book. So he cut down on his drinking, he stopped taking caffeine. He started exercising gradually and he's built that up now to a level that's increased from a short walk to now going to the gym and spending an hour in the gym. I didn't think that we would ever reach the point to where we are now. It's been a lot quicker journey than what I thought it was going to be. Mm. Um, and I never, I never thought that it would get back to, us, to, to, to the level that it's at now. Exercise does make a big difference, there's no, no doubt about it. But then I set myself targets of like walking to the co-op and walking back, of walking um, to the chemist, walking to my doctors. Right now it, it, it seems nothing, but at times they were big goals and big targets. And when I achieve those big goals and those big targets, I'm sure that that is what's helped me get to a point where I can then go on to the next thing, which is put it all behind you really. So really, in, in conclusion, to be sat here now as, as a guy that can go to the gym, can play rugby with my son, can, you know, go out and fly me a toy helicopter and, and run around the park. And, you know, I was with my grandkids this weekend, you know, and, you know, when you can pick a, a two-year-old up and, and throw them around and things. And, and you find then that prostate cancer is something that actually, you know, is, 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 is something that you can work through and you can get through, you know. 